All right, so the gambling, sports gambling. Sports we, we talked about this gambling. a couple of weeks ago and mm-hmm. how it is just, you know, we're seeing more and more individuals, especially in an in F. Can't talk all of a sudden, Sticks. Let me get it back together. We're seeing more and more individuals in the NFL being suspended because of sports gambling. What's going on, bro? Man, so here recently, dog, like seven NFL players and some coaches have gotten suspensions. Some of them year-long suspensions. Some of them six-game suspensions for sports gambling. And some of them betting on their own teams. And some of them just betting on NFL games in general. And when we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, I said, I don't see, a, I didn't see a problem with these players betting on other games as long as it's not their team. And I kind of still feel the same way, but I can kind of, reading through the article, I can kind of understand why the NFL says no NFL betting, period. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to come to a point where, you know, and I'm pretty sure D'Lo is going to make this this um going to make this point. The integrity of the game is going to be compromised at some point. And but it's it's still to the point where like if I'm not playing on this team, if if I'm playing for the Cowboys and I see the 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 Atlanta Falcons and the Commanders going against each other, I can make a parlay or I can you know bet on the game because I have no bearing on the outcome of this game. You know what I'm saying? Just me having my own personal character just to bet on the game honestly and just say, this is what I'm betting on this game. I could, I should be able to make money off that because sports betting in a lot of states are is legal. But there comes a point where, you know, some things can be changed. What you think, D-Lo? Go ahead and make, make that point, bro. Make that point. Yeah, I mean, you already made it for me. <laughs> no, I definitely feel like I feel the opposite of you when it comes to the sports gambling and the individuals that are involved with it, because we like sports because it's supposed to be the true essence of competitive competitiveness, as well as love of the game. Now we know when you get to professional sports, Mm -hmm. that love kind of diminishes a little bit because you're now getting a contract, now getting paid for it. Um, And there are other factors that build into why that love kind of diminishes a little bit. Right. Right. When it comes to the essence of sports, it is the true you know, it is competitiveness. And so for that to be taken away could be pretty damaging to who we are as, as a country, so to speak. Um, and so I feel like players in, in professional sports, they're making a sacrifice right now. Mm-hmm. They're they're They, they, they should be able, they should make a sacrifice right now is what I should say. You're making a lot of money to play. And this might be a need to be a topic for us at some point too. Gotcha. The NF, uh, professional athletes or entertainers make so much money. Why is that? And anyway, we need to talk about that though. And I'll tell you offline why we need to talk about that. Makes sense. I can um, see where you're going with that. I ain't, I'm yeah. going to lie. I can see where you're going with it, but go ahead. Yeah. But <clears throat> to get back to the point though, where was I at? Actually, I lost making a sacrifice. You're making so much money. You got to start making a sacrifice. sacrifice. Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you, my brother. So, yeah. yeah, you make that sacrifice for a short period of time to make all of this money. There are certain things that you won't be able to do. Like you have you if you play basketball, you can't go skydiving. You can't ride motorcycles, so on and so forth. Roller coasters, shit like that. Ro- yeah. Thrill, all thrill that, seeking, you know, all the thrill seeking things. It's it's like little stuff that you wouldn't expect. You're like, I, this, it's a human being. Let them go live their life. No, they can't do it. Um, and I feel like sports gambling is a part of that. And the reason I feel like that, Six, you said, um, I don't play for I don't play for this team. I should be able, I have no bearings on the outcome of the game. I should be able to bet on that game. There are friends in the NFL, they are friends amongst each other, right? Mm-hmm. Let's let's remove the NFL. Let's remove remove professional sports out of it. Mm-hmm. Let's just say me and you. If you are a part of something that I can bet on, mm-hmm. you have a bearing in the outcome of it. Right. What I can say is I can hit you up right before or at some point in time and say, "Yo, I'm betting on X, Y, Z." I need you to make sure that either happens or it doesn't happen. Um, And if it does, I'm going to win this much. 
I can give you this amount of money or I can buy you this gift and give it to you at this time so it can't be easily tracked, whatever the case is. Right, right, right. Say less, my dog. I got you. Right. Mm Mm-hmm. In the NFL or or with sports gambling nowadays, and I know I'm going on for a while, but I want to drive this point home. Do you think with sports gambling now, you can bet on the tiniest thing? You can bet on what color the Gatorade is going to be. You can bet on whatever it is. You the national bet on. anthem and the Super you know you know Bowl. You, you can bet on uh, the smallest thing on the field. You could say you could bet on who's going to make the next catch, what side the ball is going to go to, all all different things. The smallest thing. So if I'm betting on, all right, the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl are going to win the coin toss and they're going to receive. If I know my dog is the captain, he's the one that's speaking, I can say, yo, y'all win the coin toss. I need you to say that you're going to receive the ball. And I I know a lot of people might look at that like, man, that's never going to happen. But you're talking about money being money. Money. money on the table now we're not talking about we're not talking about any any major outcome like yo mm-hmm. i need y'all to lose by 20 points or i need you to lose by three points that i mean that's hard to do but little stuff like that definitely could happen man so i I'm feel like you. the integrity of sports and one of my friends mentioned this to me and i didn't think about it he was like man i don't i don't really care about I don't I don't cheer for any particular person. I don't care about any outcomes in the game because gambling is legal now. Mm-hmm. And it kind of broke my spirit. It's like, dang, I can't really talk to him about this because he don't really care about. It. But then I started thinking, I was like, damn, he actually got a point. Like anytime you put money on the line, you can't you can't that you can't really say your full faith in the outcome or what that is or what it's representing is, is 100% because you now it's like, well, who, where's the money going? You got to always follow the money. Same mm-hmm. with NCAA. Now that the NIL is there and all that yep. different type of stuff, you can't really say that those kids actually love the game anymore. Yeah, and that's a, that's a huge point, bro. Cause the, the integrity of the game, if the integrity of the game is being compromised, bro, it's one of those things where it's like, damn, did he, did he drop that ball for a reason? Did he mm-hmm. throw that, that? That man was wide open in the in the end zone. Did he throw that ball out of bounds? Did he, throw, did, he, did he throw that pass wild for a reason? Like, did that guard miss that tackle for a reason and get the quarterback sack? Like, there's it, it's so many things that can happen with sports betting now that it's like you gotta you gotta think not now you thinking you're not you're not thinking that you're watching the game for the love of the sport no more. It's like damn, like damn, he was wide open. How did he drop that? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like. But it Especially could be with the type of skills that, that yeah. players have nowadays. People in the um, top one percent, bro. The top one yeah. percent of athletes go to the NFL. Like that's the top one percent of football players in the entire yeah. world go to the NFL. And you got you mean to tell me that you the the best of the best, and you out here dropping wide open passes, and like. And me and Delon talked about this earlier in the week. Like if if you can bet on if I'm playing for the Cowboys and Delon can bet on me having four catches in the game. And I can't get no more than four, and he loses money. What's who's to say that I ain't gonna help my boy win this million dollars? And he gonna give right. me two hundred k. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know what I mean? So that, I gotta that, get you to say D Lo instead of the line, but it's all good. <laughs> you know I miss you, bro. We've been knowing each other for over two decades, bro. I'm sorry, you're my brother. You know I love you, bro. But no, nah, but it's, it's just it's just crazy how everything has an outcome, especially when it went a sports betting. Like like the, like D Lo said, the smallest things you can bet on now. And yeah. it's just hard to have that integrity in the game now. And it's kind of crazy, bro. It's kind of, it's, it's yeah. actually kind of wild. Yeah. And I mean, like I said, I know a lot of people will hear that or see what I said as, you know, that's not really anything that can happen or that's not really messing with the integrity of the game. But when you open that door, as we mentioned about earlier door, the door being open and mm-hmm. those loopholes being presented, 100%. Then people will jump through those loopholes and go to something that you didn't think about uh, being bedded on. And now it's like, well, you have a full fledged, uh, issue uh, on your hand when it comes to the betting aspect in, in sports. For sure, man. And, and hopefully, you know, ho- hopefully these guys kind of learn from these examples moving forward. So, I mean, people are getting whole year bans from the, N- from the NFL and you have to actually like get reinstated to do what you love and what your job is. Like, so hopefully yeah. these guys in these suspension and these bans are, 
are 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 taken seriously. So now guys moving forward won't have to, you know, hopefully it's a learning experience for everybody in the NFL for sure. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for watching this video. If you've made it this far, there's a video on the screen right here. Make sure you go ahead and click that and view that. Also, you can find us on all your streaming platforms, wherever you find your podcasts.